In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to change the sky in a video clip. In order to do this, we have to use not only PowerDirector, but a photo editing software application. In my case, I'm going to use Adobe's Photoshop Elements. When we get to that, the technique will be the same, but if you're using a different photo editor, the process may be slightly different. So let's go ahead and begin the process. Now, you have to be careful about the raw footage you use. The raw footage, in order for this to work, has to be taken from a camera that is absolutely stable, like what you see on the screen. No zoom, no pan, no movement whatsoever because the mask can't change. Therefore, the location of the camera should stay the same. And to get the best results, you want the area between the sky and the other items here to be as far away as possible. So this isn't ideal, but it will work for the case of this particular tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and take my video and drag it onto not track one, but track number two. And now, because my camera is stable, I can click anywhere in the video, and I'm going to take a picture of it to begin to build my mask. I simply click on the camera icon above the timeline, and it will ask where I want to put it. And I'm going to put it in this folder, and I simply called it Stage 1, and I saved it as a PNG file. So I'll click on Save. And now it will add that file over here into my media content area. So now I have that. I'm going to begin to build a mask from that. Now in order to do that, I need to pause my Power Director and get into my photo editing program. And I will open the program I'm looking for called Stage 1 and we'll open it here. Now what I want to do is I want to take my uh, magic tool and I want to highlight the sky. I'll right click on it and, and choose layer via copy. We'll turn off the original layer and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the paint bucket to fill this area with black. My mode here is darken and now I have the area set up here that was sky. So I'm going to do a file, save as, and we don't want to save it as Photoshop. We want to save it as a PNG in the same location. I'm just going to call this a mask. And I'll click on save. And now I can close my uh, photo editing software here. So now what I want to do is apply the mask to this particular clip. So I'll click on Designer, and in version 16, it's Mask Designer. In other versions, Mask Designer is under Pip Designer. But I'll click here in this version, and I'll load the image. We'll take the one called Mask here, and we'll open it. And use Alpha Channel, that is fine, and we'll invert it. OK, so there we have it. Now I'll click on OK. So now I have the area that was the sky masked out. But what I'm going to do is slide this up a little bit here. So now let's see what we want to replace that with. I have a video here of windmills, for example, I could use. And if I put it behind the movie at this particular moment in time and go ahead and play it, you see here I have the video running. These ginormous uh, windmills are playing in the background. Or I have, let's pause that, and let's take this uh, picture. It doesn't have to be a movie. I'll stretch it out for longer. And when we go ahead and do this, Looks like I have to change the proportions on this. So I'll click on this and we'll um, minimize it a little bit. We'll make it a little larger. Make sure we cover the screen. 
OK. Click on OK. And now I have the sky from this picture as my background. I've changed it. You could take something else. Let me try something else just for fun. I'll import another file folder. Let's use this textile. And I'll put this on the track one. And we'll go ahead and edit it. And we will we'll we'll change the proportions of it to cover the screen. Click on OK. And now if I enlarge it here in this section of the video. The sky has been replaced by a bunch of cloth. <laughs> so you can use any kind of video, any kind of still image that you want to, uh, when you have the mask there uh, to achieve whatever kind of effect that you prefer in this particular section. But once you have the mask made and applied, it's not too difficult to change the background here. So we hope you found this helpful as you adjust reality to fit your creativity in CyberLink PowerDirector.